What up, Brooklyn? Make some noise for yourself. Brooklyn, make some noise. I'm from Brooklyn. Born and raised. But I'm from I'm from Brooklyn, so I ain't gonna talk about nobody in the crowd. You see how Ray be talking about people in the crowd? I ain't gotta worry about that with me. I'm good. I ain't, I know I understand Brooklyn. You talk about people in the crowd in Brooklyn, they meet you at the parking lot after the show. <laughs> like, yo, you the comedian? Are you mad funny? Like, yeah, make my gun laugh. Oh no. <laughs> LOL, my guy, LOL, facts, my guy. No OMG, LOL right now, son. I'm good, I'm trying to make it home tonight. Anybody know how to get to Linden Boulevard in five minutes, son? Yeah, you can sit down, my dude. Trusting nobody in here, B. <laughs> I ain't see him get patted down, I gotta see it with my own eyes. I ain't talking about him, son. I'm not single no more, I'm happy that I'm not single, because I wasn't a confident person in the bedroom, because I'm skinny. So I'm not confident. Like, I don't talk when I have sex. You know how some dudes, they talk when they have sex. They want to know who it is. Like, yo, whose is it? Whose is it? It's yours. It's yours. I can't do that. I don't talk. That's too much confidence for me. If I do talk, I'm going to say stuff that I know is mine. Like, yo, who cable box that over there, huh? Huh? Who couch we on right now? Yours. Who phone is about to be off tomorrow? Yours. Yours. Damn right it's mine. Whose sneakers is that over there? All that's mine, son. In a relationship now, I'm happy. My girl, beautiful girl from Brooklyn. She got long dreads. Yeah, 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 son. I like me a Brooklyn chick. She got long dreads, too, she, so she natural. She got that beautiful natural hair. I love it. I was well before she went natural, though. See, that's the thing. The females don't tell you about that, that black love. That's what black love is. When the girl cut her hair and you stay with her, that's black love. She cut her hair to the beginning, like the Adam and Eve part of her skull. No, nah, I didn't know what she was doing. She walked in my room, looked like little Bill. I was like, yo, what are you doing, son? What are you doing? I can see your brain. I'm not supposed to see your brain. How natural are you trying to be right now? She used to tag me on photos on Facebook. I'm like, yo, you don't got to tag me in all those photos. They know we go together. 95 photos? Come on. Some of my friends didn't even recognize her. They're like, yo, who that <laughs> be with all the time? <laughs> what? Talk about that goddess that paid for my Netflix? Don't don't disrespect us like that, my guy. Come on, son. <laughs> Disrespectful, man. I'm Haitian American, man. I'm Haitian American. I'm scared to even say that, because I know there's a lot of West Indians in here. Where my West Indians at? West Indians make some noise? West Indians? Yeah, like, clapping. Dumb hard. You know Trump is president, man? You wildin'. Trump is president. Y'all heard about ICE in Brooklyn? The ICE? They taking people back to their country? Y'all ain't hear about ICE? Ah, y'all saying, I'm just saying. I don't know, man. Trump got a two train that take you right out the country. Y'all ain't hear about that shit? Y'all don't watch the news? All right, watch. You're going to be on a train one day, they're going to be like, next stop, Haiti. Doo-doo, what? <laughs> Back door. I want to get off. No, nah, no, nah, this is my stop right here, son. How much Metro cards it cost to get back from Haiti, son? <laughs> Back door. I'm ready right now, conductor. <laughs> That's how I heard people get off the bus. They don't press the button on strangers. Just, Back door. Just press the button. Nah, my stop right here. Back door. This is my house right there, back door, son. I smack everybody on this bus right now. Back door! I'm Haitian American, man. I, yo, I always tell people I'm Haitian American, and basically I'm Haitian American, which means I was born in America, but my family raised me like a Haitian. That's what West Indians do. They don't raise you like an American. They raise you like a West Indian. That's not cool. I didn't even know I was being raised like a West Indian until I asked my father for a pet. I walk in my room, there was a chicken tied to my heater. I'm like, yo! I never even seen a chicken in real life. I'm like, yo, what is, daddy, what is that? Like, that is your pet, Jonas, don't be crazy, okay? Don't disrespect your pet in my house today, okay? You don't see the dog leash and the baby sneakers? <laughs> you want me to walk? I'm not walking the chicken around Flatbush. That's not legal. So you don't make it walk, dummy. You make it fly, Jonas. Make it fly down Nostwen, okay? They can fly down scared neck daddy everywhere. Because that is your pet. Don't disrespect your pet in my house, okay, Jonas? Like, nigga, I don't want to make it. Uh, West Indian parents, they mad. My father was cheap. But he used to always tell me, I'm not cheap, I'm broke. There's a difference, okay, Jonas? My pocket is out of order today. My father walks in the kitchen. We don't got no food in the kitchen. He walks right back in the room. Jonas, where's the chicken I bought you five minutes ago? 
I'm like, what? Chicken? You mean Timmy? I done named him. That's my pet. I named him Timmy. So, okay, bring Timmy to me. We're going to eat Timmy tonight, okay? We need Timmy in the kitchen right now, okay? I'm like, for what? We're going to eat him. You don't understand? Meet me in the kitchen, Jonas, okay? I'm going to be by the hot water, okay? No, 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 no. Don't leave, leave the sneakers. We don't need the sneakers, okay? Just be with Timmy. And my father's one of them, the West Indians. They don't got no compassion for their kid. Like, I'm crying because they killed my first pet. He don't even care. He mad because he wants to pray over our food. Hey, you have to pray over your food, Jonas. I'm like, that's Timmy. I don't care. <laughs> if family had prayed together, stay together. <laughs> and bow your heads, Jonas. And when Hastings pray, they act like they know God personally. They got a good relationship. This is how my father pray. Dear Lord, this is Eve Jano, apartment 3B. <laughs> You know me already. I don't even know why I said that. <laughs> I have a car parked outside right now with some parking tickets. If you can take care of that for me, please. Just take it off. Okay, that's not what I'm coming here for. Sorry, sorry. Thank you for bringing the biggest chicken I've ever seen in my life. Them Timmy. You make Timmy fly everywhere. You make him fly down Skin Neck Teddy. Beverly Wood. Linden Boulevard. And now you make him fly into my plate. <laughs> and for that, I thank you, God. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Amen. Jonas, why are you crying, Jonas? And why are you crying? Eh? Pass me Timmy legs while you're crying over there, please. <laughs> and Timmy wings. I need all the Timmy I can get today. <laughs> you've got to be the rich family, Jonas. I'm going to open up TFC, Timmy fried chicken, all of us twin, Jonas. You got to be the richest family in Brooklyn. Do you understand, Jonas? Wipe your tears. <laughs> I love being Haitian American, man. It was just hard growing up because West Indians got strict rules, man. My father came from Haiti to America. His biggest dream was to buy a house in America. You know what that happens? What happens? When he buys a house, the biggest thing is his keys, the house keys. When he gave me the house keys, that was the biggest moment of his life. He gave it to me with a speech. Hey, hey, hey. This is the keys to my paradise, okay? You protect that with your life, Jonas. If somebody try to rob you, you put my keys on the floor, you run away from my keys, call me, I can pick up my keys. I'm like, well, what about me? I don't know, you have legs, Jonas. The keys don't have legs. So you need to call me, Jonas. My father gave me a key with no keychain, just one key and mad pressure. I go to Boston, I lose the key, right? It's Boston, though. That's four hours away from New York. I'm like, what's the worst that could happen? I'm like, let me just go home. I'm walking home. A typical parent will open the door for their kid when they knock on the door. Not my Haitian father. I'm banging on the door for three hours in the rain. My father came. He didn't open the door. He opened the shade. Where's your keys? I'm like, what? I, I, I lost it in Boston. Well, go find it in Boston, Jonas. That's my keys I pay for. I'm like, all right. My father had the little chain on the door like he didn't know who I was. Like, daddy, it's me. Let me in the house. It's like, I don't know you. The person I know, I give keys to. <laughs> you don't have keys, Jonas. <laughs> you are intruder. I can call the police on you right now. You do five to 10 years in jail, Jonas. I need keys, man. And the thing about Haitian parents, when they start to get mad, they start to lose logic and say crazy things that can't happen, but in their head can happen. So you know why you lose your keys? You lose your keys on purpose because you don't care about me. You don't care about your family, Jonas. You want somebody to find my key, then break in my house. Take everything that I work for. I lost this shit in Boston. I live in New York. That's four hours away. You trying to tell me somebody's going to find the key in Boston, drive all the way to my house? That's impossible. Break in my house and take everything. I'm like, Daddy, it's not going to happen. Let me in the house. My father looked me dead in my face was like, I will never know until you bring me my keys, Jonas. <laughs> you don't have no keys, get the hell away from my door, okay? Yo, one of the worst things you could do is not lose your key, it's to leave your key in the door and forget you left it there. <laughs> what? Yo, I left my key in the door and I forgot I was there, I went to sleep. I woke up to my father with a cop right there. My father woke me up with a, a cop. Hey, hey, wake up, wake up. You leave your keys on the door on purpose. I know that already, because you want somebody to come in my house and whip your mother. Yeah, 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 and whip your brother. I'm like, yo, I don't want nobody to get raped. <laughs> no, 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 I understand what's going on. No, no, stay right here, police. You leave your key, I know that already. I've been in this country for a long time. You leave your keys on the door, the rapist come, he whip everybody together. <laughs> he 
It's like Thanksgiving, no turkey, just whip, 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 whip. <laughs> Take him to jail, please, policeman. <laughs> Yo, I didn't do it on purpose. That's the password because you don't love us, Jonas. What your mother and your brother to get whipped today? <laughs> I love what I love West Indians, man. I love West Indians, man. Americans, they uh, West Indians cheat different from Americans. Like Americans cheat, they get a side chick. Who that's crazy. Like West Indians, they cheat different. They get a whole side family somewhere. <laughs> In their country, they get a whole side family. No bullshit. And like a regular parent, they'll let you know, like, yo, I got kids on the side. Not my Haitian ass father. That's how he let me know. He went on vacation. I call my father on vacation, like, daddy, what you doing? Oh, I'm chilling with your little boy there right now. I'm like, what? I got a little brother? Yeah, yeah, but don't tell your mother about your little boy there, please. You're going to break up a happy family today, okay? If you love us, don't tell your mother about your boy there today, please. What? <laughs> I remember one time I got lost growing up. My father told me to take the bus by myself. This is how he explained it to me. Jonas, you're a big boy now. I want you to take the B49. Anybody with a brain can take the B49. <laughs> now go. That's all he told me, right? And this is the 90s. They had a B49, they had a B49 Limited. My father didn't tell me the difference between the two. I get on the B49 Limited, that shit skipped all my stops. I'm lost, I'm in Connecticut. I ain't on the B49, went to Connecticut? <laughs> I'm lost. I'm with my American friend. We get to a pay phone. He called his parents. They scared that he's lost. Like, what? Find the street sign. We're coming to get you right now. Don't talk to no strangers. I'm like, bet. Let me borrow a quarter and call my father and tell him I'm lost. I call my father. I'm like, daddy, I'm lost. What you mean you lost, Jonas? Jonas, you are a grown man in the third grade. Please tell me how you lost, Jonas. I don't understand you right now, Jonas. Jonas, if you don't come home right now, I'm like... I'm lost. I don't care. You better find yourself today. <laughs> Jonas. Jonas, if you don't come home before income tax, do you know what I'm going to do to you, Jonas? I need your social security number right now on the phone. I'm going to get a pen and a paper. Please give me your number, okay? I'm going to buy a new car without your social security number. <laughs> hey, yo, you guys have been super wonderful, man. My name is Jonas Chanel. Thank you, guys.